we go. Up, Mr. Alex Nichols with the bright yellow Scott shoes. As he dribble steps his way towards the finish line. Got one big turn. And like 20 feet of climbing left. As he heads towards that runner up 100 mile national championship performance coming down from the mountains, running what might be one of the flattest ultras he's run in quite some time. But stepped up to the challenge and delivered with uh, quite the day. Wasn't even in the top 10 for the better part of the first 40 miles. Uh, let the pace get out hot. He was just hanging back playing it real smart and as some of the young guns started to fall off the pace and ultimately out of the race he found himself in position just moving on up passing folks and worked his way all the way into third overall and second place here on the men's side at the USATF 100 mile road national championships yeah really smart race from Alex um I don't think we expected anything less, right? As uh, you know, someone who's a veteran, someone who's finished second place at Western States, um, he's been in big races. I fully expected him to, to come out and run his race. Uh, and for him to be able to transition all that strength he has from the mountains into some flat speed uh, and to just lay it all out there, that's pretty epic. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, not a bad training run getting ready for this year's Western States here. Uh, I think he can take a lot of lessons from today's performance uh, and a lot of confidence as he clearly has a bit of leg speed on the flatter stuff. Uh, and now he can get back to his bread and butter as he prepares uh, to lace them up and go on that journey on down to Auburn in June. Yeah, and this is going to be, again, a really exciting moment for Alex. He's got, you know, members, 17 members of his college cross-country team over at Colorado College. Uh, road trip down here to, to support him and cheer him on and for him to cap it off uh, with such an incredible performance is uh, it's got to feel good for, uh, for him to, you know, set that example and uh, really have a great showing here. And here he is. The last bit of a climb, his team right there. Showing so much love. And there you have it. Alex Nichols, your runner up at the USATF 100 mile road national championships. What an incredible run. And he just yeah, right here. Right. <laughs> it's just a walk in the park for him. Great race, very well run. You need a jacket, water, coffee. Well, I mean, you don't. Know. Oh, thank 
Yeah. You definitely had the largest cheering section out here today. Oh yeah, they were great. They were fantastic. I bet we can over there. Yeah, hold on. Let's go here. Okay. All right, guys. We just want all of you to get here and see their photo. Make sure you don't want. College students doing it for the gram. Yeah, Ooh, that's the yeah. Okay. Classic. And Alex just getting up out of the chair like it's nothing. Like, okay. It's like ah, <laughs> uh, I guess I'll stand up. Yeah, they couldn't be bothered to stand around the chairs. No, no, no. Make the person who just ran 100 miles get up and walk somewhere, take photos. That's fine. Yeah, incredible. And what a moment for, again, for Alex to be able to share this with uh, you know, the athletes he coaches, the the kids who he's mentoring, essentially, at this point in their lives, for him to be able to share this accomplishment. Don't make a you know, meal. Him, I think is, uh, is really amazing. Absolutely. <laughs> And we do have a question in the chat, and I'm going to hand it over to my uh, to my incredible research assistant here, Skyler. Is that a 100-mile PR for Alex? I was literally just looking that up. Uh, my snap answer is yes. I don't think he's really run a 100-miler faster than anything that he had done at Western State. So compared to the performances there, he's knocked off about three hours from his Western States PR. So his first time in a more like fixed distance type setting where you're on a, a short course flat race. Something again more known for, for mountain ultras and, uh, and things like that. So yeah, it looks like coming in his PR would have been, yeah, his, his second place finish at the 2017 Western States and 1648.23. So uh, go ahead uh, and just wipe that out because he absolutely demolished that. So I had to climb 2,500 feet on this course. So it wasn't flat. It doesn't count as, does it count as run flat or stay low? Uh, he stayed low. He stayed at the like 1,900 feet or whatever that Henderson uh, sits at. But uh, it wasn't flat. I mean, for him, it's all relative. You got the altitude bump. <laughs> got the altitude bump. He's got less total climb on this course over 100 miles than he gets in the first four miles of Pikes Peak. Like, he's... he's <laughs> Thank you, guys, so much. Really? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm just gonna throw this out there. I know we had a conversation about uh, your best hair. Alex Nichols' little, uh, little like hockey flow. <laughs> going very underrated. He's, uh, I'm gonna throw it out there. Tom Holland vibes. I think it's kind of nice. <laughs> just saying. Andy just finished second. Hey, not bad. You know. He's going to be out here just running his fingers through his hair like, yeah, this is nothing. Well, he probably does that while he's running like seven-minute miles. Just brushes it back. like it's no, After I'm watching him get up out of that chair, that was a piece of cake. It really, it really <laughs> was, which is absurd. Uh, yeah, no, it's a, it's, a, it's a big day for him. So 